ghosts. I love old maps. When I was a little girl, they always led to treasure. <laughs> they always make me feel more lost. My name's Lara, by the way. Pilar. You don't look like the type of tourists we usually get. I'm an archaeologist, actually. Uh, yes, that would be more fitting, I think. You should speak with Abigail. She knows the history of this place better than almost anyone. We've already met. Abby's been kind enough to let my friend and I stay with her while we're visiting. Ah. <laughs> well then, you are a welcomed guest in Kuakiaku. Thank you. Do you need help understanding the map? <laughs> it wasn't meant for me to understand. I have hidden the truth, as Abigail will find, but to uncover it, she must take a trip back in time. <laughs> Mariana was never much of a poet. <laughs> Mariana? Abigail's grandmother. We lost her to cancer. One year ago today, actually. I'm sorry to hear that. Mariana wanted Abigail to have the map on the anniversary of her death, but... You're not sure? I don't know if she's ready. It's none of my business, but if it helps, Mariana believes she was. Ah. You're right. I guess it never was my decision, was it? Would you mind delivering the map to Abigail? You could make a full-time job of chasing that girl around. Oh, and my hips just won't have it. <laughs> Not at all. Abby, it's Lara. Hey, stranger. How are you making out? How's Jonah? Jonah's fine. He's with a friend. A friend, huh? What's her name? <laughs> His name is Uchu. Listen, Abby, I'm back in Kwakiaku and I've come across an old map that belonged to your grandmother. Well, there's an old timer in town, Diego. He runs the community garden. He's in two maps, I think. Maybe he can take a look. Meet me there? On my way. Can I help you? I'm a friend of Abby's. She asked me to meet her here. We have a map we'd like you to look at. Oh, let's have a look. Mm, this is a nice piece of work. Good detail. Happy to see it held up all these years. You're familiar with it. Might be a little more dust in the attic these days, but I never forget my work. Abby's grandmother asked me to draw it up. If I remember right, it was supposed to be some kind of gift for Abby. There are blemishes here. Three of them, do you see? Hmm. I didn't put those there. It smells like lemon, doesn't it? Lemon? Lemon juice can be used as ink to... There could be a heat fix message hidden in the map. Can I use your brazier? Sure. Be my guest. So how does this work? Well, lemon juice is organic, so it will oxidize and turn brown when it's heated, and a secret message will appear. It's been a lot of years. You think it'll still show? As soon as Abby gets here, we're gonna find out. Find out what? Speak of the devil. <laughs> I'm an angel, Diego. You know that. <laughs> Not when you were little. Abby, according to Diego, your grandmother asked him to make the map for you, as a gift. Why would I need a map of the village? I know this place in my sleep. There's more. Your grandmother hid something here in the paper. You can 
barely see it. I think it's a secret message. She used invisible ink. Invisible ink. Really? Well, it's just lemon juice, but... But it does the trick. So, what's this secret? Don't know. May I? Let's take a look. Look, those symbols, they're... Three X's. X marks the spot. <laughs> Cute, Grandma. Are these points far from here? Nope. Should we split up? Sure. I'll take those two there. Thanks. There's a three-step... Abby, how are you making out? Almost at it. Whatever it is. You? Look for a fragment of stone with a three-stepped edge. I found one here. I'm sure we're looking for two others. You're the expert.
all full up. Can't carry any more. Carved on one side.
beings here. I've got the others. Now what? Now we put them together and see what your grandmother is trying to tell you. Bilad understood Grandma better than anyone. Meet me at her place. <laughs> The others. Now what? Now we put them together and see what your grandmother is trying to tell you. Bilad understood Grandma better than anyone. Meet me at her place. I've got some stuff to trade if you're looking. Uh, I was hoping Abigail would be with you. She's on her way. Hi, Auntie. Ah. <sighs> uh. It's been too long, child. Oh, let me look at you. Hmm. Still with the short hair, I see. <clears throat> Auntie, we found something in Grandma's map. Actually, your hair could be better too, now that I see you again. The pair of you are like tomboys out chasing after... Auntie, please. Why did Grandma want me to have the map? I deserve to know. Do you remember the stories your grandmother used to tell you as a child? About a magical, hidden place built by your ancestors? Yes, but I grew up, and she grew old, and nothing magical ever happened. But she didn't forget her promise. It's there, in your hands. Why now? Ah, I'm only the custodian of the map. It's up to you to discover its purpose. Abby, 
I'm sure whatever is revealed in this map will lead to that hidden place and your answers. I hope so. All right, let's take a look. If we place each one of the fragments on the map where they were found, like so... That's the Chakana, the Inca Cross. It represents the three levels of existence. The upper world, the middle world, our world, and the underworld. It also represents the things that make us human. Like the ability to love, to take action, to gain wisdom. But if I'm remembering correctly, the center of the Chakana is said to represent Cusco, the capital of the Inca Empire. In the context of the map, we're hundreds of miles from there. Well, there are many interpretations of the Chacana. Uh, Cusco, um, a portal from one world to the next. It is also said to be the Eye of God, a guardian keeping watch over us all. So, what are we looking for? I mean, this has to point to something, right? Let's take a closer look. There has to be something we're not seeing. Something... There! I thought it was a small blemish when I first saw it, but in this light, it looks like a Maya hieroglyph. Maya? That doesn't make any sense. We are Inca. What does it say? Hahil. It means truth. Truth? Truth about what? I don't know. Does this place on the map mean anything to you? Grandma and I would sit there when she told me stories about the hidden place. <laughs> Perhaps you'll find your answers there. Are you ready? Keep the map. I'll meet you there.
Abby, keep your radio close. I'll stay in touch if I find anything. Sounds good. And watch your eyes in there. You can count on that. Serpent's head looks like a trigger. This serpent's head looks like a trigger. There's a sarcophagus here. It's beautiful. Definitely royalty. A sarcophagus? Like a coffin? Exactly like a coffin. I thought Made it was it. a forge. Whoever is buried here, they were very closely tied to this place and its purpose. You found the hidden place? It was a forge, but something more as well. <sighs> yes. It is the resting place of the Maya Queen Abarrane, the first guardian of Kuakyaku. She built the forge to construct an artifact of great power. What artifact? Uh, I don't know. Mariana told me that what was born from that place had long been lost, but she said the message it contained would always endure. It was a message of hope for the future. 
If you knew about all this, why wouldn't you tell me? I'm sorry, but I made a promise to Mariana. So what? I'm supposed to accept that I'm Maya all of a sudden? Abarrane's bloodline has been diluted over the centuries, but you are descended from her. So what does this mean? You're a guardian, Abigail. Like Mariana and her mother before her, all the way back to the time of Abarrane. <laughs> I can't be a guardian. I have responsibilities here. I've... You've been protecting this village for years. Hasn't a little bit of you always known? Felt, compelled, somehow. You are the keeper of the story now. That's what Grandma used to say. She said it was her job to keep its story. To keep it safe. She promised that one day she would show me where it was. And then I'd be the keeper of its story. She didn't forget her promise. She just had a different way of showing you. It's so like her, isn't it? She couldn't just tell me. Had to make a treasure hunt out of it. <sighs> I loved your grandmother as if she was my own sister. But sometimes she was a gigantic pain in the ass. Abby, I think I'll leave you two alone to talk about things. Sounds like you've got some catching up to do. Thanks, Lara. Here, I want you to have this for all your help. And before you say anything, it's customary, so you kind of can't say no. Thank you.